Welcome to our Introduction to Access Control online training module. In this course, you will learn all the essentials to get started on access control projects, going from standalone to online systems. Enjoy your training. Access control can be defined as restricting access to locked areas. In the access control industry, we are looking at controlling the access of people through a door or set of doors. A common question asked is, how do I control access through a single door? The easiest and most basic form of restricting access is a lock and a key. However, to control access, you would need to issue a key to everyone who requires access to the door and then trust those users to lock the door behind them. If someone then lost a key, the locks would need to be changed. Technology now allows for more secure systems which don't rely on whether the user will remember to lock the door or not. Depending on the complexity of the access system required, a range of solutions is available. A simple keypad or proximity system connected to a door only allows individuals with either a valid PIN code or proximity credential to gain entry. This level of control can be increased to include time zones or schedules, allowing authorised access between designated times, for example. Access control also covers locking. However, bear in mind that there is a difference between locking for door control and locking for security. The term door control refers to keeping doors shut and locked, but with security being a low priority. These would normally be doors on the inside of a building, within the normal security zone. This configuration is used to stop unauthorised people from entering a room or premises. Locking for this type of door is often selected as a 300 kg electromagnetic lock or a standard strike. These doors generally require access control authentication to enter and a simple push button to exit. When a door is required to have more security, such as main entry doors, a higher level lock is required, such as a 500 kg electromagnetic lock, a full length pull handle, or a solenoid bolt. The doors are often set up with an access control system restricting entry and a push button to exit out. However, in high security buildings, areas, or rooms, it is not uncommon to have access control both in and out, usually when using an online access control system. When using access control on exit doors, a provision must always be made in case of emergencies. Therefore, public doors must always use a fail-safe installation with an emergency break glass hardwired to the lock itself. This allows the door to open freely in the event of an emergency to evacuate the building when the power is turned off. Access control can be split into two main groups, standalone and online access control, which we will discuss later in this course. We hope your training goes well, and if you require any further information during or after the course, please do not hesitate to contact the CDVI Academy and our training manager by emailing technical at cdvi.co.uk.